Hello, Vinyl Community people. It's Mike, MGK Boston, back on a Sunday fun day. Yes, uh, the, the day that precedes Monday. It's, it's a fun day. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, pretty good. So um, I uh, did that record show finds video a week ago uh, when I went down to Seekonk, Massachusetts, near the Rhode Island border. And uh, like I said, I got a huge haul. So today is going to be uh, the sequel, part two. Uh, because I just had so many to show, uh, I couldn't do them all in that video. I, the video would have been too long, just like my Friday Cheers was uh, two days ago. That was a long video. Maybe I tried to cover a little too much in that one, but uh, I'll keep this one a little shorter for all these uh, attention spans that are getting shorter as well <clears throat> these days in the internet age. Anyway, TikTok. <laughs> you won't find me on there. Anyway, uh, so today, yeah, I'm going to show a combination of stuff I got at the Seekonk record show and then some stuff I actually just got yesterday spontaneously. I ended up at the mall. If you see me at the mall, that's, that's a very rare sighting, okay? Better chance of seeing a UFO than finding me at the mall. Usually you find me at the mall on the afternoon of Christmas Eve doing my shopping and my annual visit to the mall, but yesterday I was there. So what are you going to do? It was a rainy crappy day because it was Saturday so it was raining hopefully that tradition doesn't keep going like last summer god I could do without it anyway let's dive right in so the first like I said is going to be some stuff from the Seekonk record show shout out to my friend Jeff Triple J uh, I know he watches the videos and he was a seller at that show I might have got a few of these from Jeff too I got a lot from uh, his table that day so anyway uh yeah so what do we got the fourth release from Bad Company here uh this one just simply called Burning Sky Burning Sky, I think the title track was actually the only charting tune on this one. Not much on the inside here. I think Colton's out here. Hold on here. Colton wants to come in. All right, here he comes. Hey, Colton. All right, my man. So anyway, yeah, where were we, Colton? Yeah, there's the cool swan song logo. So yeah, uh, I only paid five bucks for this one. I mean, at this point, in, in my mind, Bad Company had kind of, the formula was getting thin. It was just more of the same. But for five bucks and it's in great condition, I'll take it. So burning, whoa, <laughs> burning sky, slippery hands. All right, there we got here. Joe Walsh. But seriously, folks, yeah, but seriously. Uh, this one from uh, 1978, pretty good album. I think this was done concurrently while he was doing the long run uh, with the Eagles. Uh, and In the City on the long run is essentially a Joe Walsh solo tune. I think it should have been on this record, but I wasn't running things at the time. I was only 10. Here he is on the inside. But seriously, folks, I'm, I'm, I'm in the pool. <laughs> Fun guy, Joe Walsh. Legendary party animal. So with his longtime collaborator on here, I'm just looking at the liner notes here. we got Joe Fatal on drums and percussion uh, per usual. So uh, the big hit on this one right there life's been good but this is really consistent for a joe walsh record because sometimes they're a little mm, uh, you get one side great one side not so great but this one's very consistent indian summer tomorrow's good um and theme from boat weird theme from boat weirdos that's a, that's a fun tune too right there so joe walsh but seriously folks but seriously <laughs> all right fourth album from these rockabilly revivalists it's the stray cats this was pretty big when i was in high school this one now from 1983, uh, Rant and Rave with the Stray Cats. There they are right there. Brian Setzer, right? Slim Jim Phantom uh, on bass. And who's the drummer? I think that guy's name. My three guys here. Lee Rocker on bass, sorry. And Slim Jim Phantom on the drums. There's uh, nice photos of the band on the inside. Some cartoon characters of the song. So the big single on this one, of course, was right there. Sexy and 17. Uh, but there are uh, oh, some other good moments on this one. Uh, I'm a rockabilly guy, a big fan of it, so uh, I was glad to find this one. So what else on here? Look at that Cadillac, Something's Wrong With My Radio, and 18 Miles to Memphis. So uh, it's the Stray Cats, ranting and raving back in 1983. Wow, time flies. Yeah, so this one's got some memories attached to it. The Del Fuegos. I used to have a cassette copy of this I'd recorded from a friend of mine way back in high school. Little did I know I'd actually be living in Boston, Mass. So th these guys were like college indie rock, of course, from Boston. Um, they, uh, th this is their second release here. Uh, Frontman Dan Zanes on guitar and lead vocals. So the story here 
when we first moved to Massachusetts back in 04, our daughter was a baby. Then flash forward uh, she, till she was about two, two and a half. And we were down at, um, I'm trying to think, it was down in the theater district in Boston. We went to see Clifford the Big Red Dog. And guess who opened? Dan Zanes. So this guy reinvented himself as a children's entertainer. Uh, I guess probably in the late 90s into the early 2000s when we, we saw him live in concert. So that would have been probably ah, 2006. And um, I can't think of the name of the theater, but it was a beautiful theater downtown Boston. And uh, I remember it was like a matinee. And uh, it was hard because she's supposed to have a nap, but once Clifford the Red Dog and all that. So yeah, the three of us, my wife, Patty and Caroline, we all went down there. And yeah, Dan Zanes uh, really wrote some really good uh, kid songs. And Caroline used to love Dan Zanes, but this is uh, when Dan Zanes was a little younger and he was in the Del Fuegos. And that's what I'm talking about. Just a little side story there that uh, uh, takes me back. So Don't Run Wild, Hand in Hand, uh, Night on the Town, Coupe de Ville was a single from this one, Coupe de Ville, yeah, if you wanted to look that one up. So, yeah, the Del Fuegos, just real good indie rock. Nothing fancy here, just some, I don't know, some random photos on the inside, black and whites. And, uh, yeah, it's the Del Fuegos. Cold and chill, man. All right, so what do we got here? No, I don't need that, but... All right, so where are we here? Uh, Delaney and Bonnie Bramlett. Yeah, so this is Motel Shot called Motel Shot, I think, because they were famous for after their gigs. They used to like to do these open jams. And this this was, uh, they weren't successful in doing one of those on this one, but it does play like that in the studio. It's pretty freeform. I mean, the, it's a who's who on this one. Uh, Dwayne Allman's on this, uh, Bobby Whitlock, uh, Graham Parsons while he was still alive. Yeah, Leon Russell. Um, uh, who else is on here? Well, that's, that's pretty good. That's kind of does it for the roll call. Um, they do a couple of spiritual numbers on here where the soul never dies. Uh, Will the circle be unbroken? Good version of that. And Rock of Ages too. And then uh, talking about Jesus. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Really nice. It's all acoustic. Um, excellent record in excellent condition. And I got this for a great price too. I'm a big fan of Delaney and Bonnie Bramlett, friends of Eric Clapton, right? They were, a, they were very popular in the early 70s. All right. And I dig that. I dig that like folky rock just kind of chill sound and uh yeah that's a great record motel shot so here's bob seeger uh, back in 1975 here a beautiful loser right all dressed up with some place to go probably because he was getting pretty popular at that point so um yeah the title track on this one's great black knight catman do uh nutbush city limits that's a tina turner tune he does a good cover of that on here uh it's really good so there's seeger on the back seeger on the front yeah, just the capital logo on the inside there. So yeah, beautiful loser. Beautiful record. Love it. All right, where are we at? So last week, I showed that Humble Pie live at the Fillmore. I also got this. Terrible ring wear on this, just like the live at the Fillmore was. But I got a great price. Record cleaned up great. So I'm really happy to have it. This Peter Frampton had left at this point. Um, trying to think who the replacement was. Gonna be. Yeah, some guy named Clem Clemson on guitar. Uh, replaced uh, Peter Frampton. And of course, Steve Marriott's on lead vocals. And uh, yeah, this is just good boogie rock. <clears throat> you know, maybe you're doing some smoking and listen to this, right? Anything <laughs> on Sunday. Anything can happen on a Sunday fun day, right? So uh, come on, everybody. The Fixer. Uh, hot and Nasty. Yeah, it's, uh, it's Humble Pie. And they're smoking on A&M right there. Yeah. Smoke them if you got them. All right. So then yesterday, I had a wicked good time over here at... Newbury Comics. So Newbury Comics is a chain around the Boston area. Um, they had a big sale there yesterday, so I was zipped over there. I never go there. Uh, they only sell all new records, and they're typically overpriced, but it was a really good sale yesterday, so I, I just bought three. Um, just went in and out, like I said. A total shopping spree of about 20 minutes, but I had a little list, and so I got this. This was uh, Arthur Lee in Love. It was a reunion they did at uh, the Glastonbury Festival in uh, 2003. Let's see here, it's a, it's a deluxe double L, deluxe double album right there. So yeah, nice story on the back of how this came together. So of course, uh, Arthur Lee, he's the only one in, in love at this point. Uh, they were long disbanded. Uh, they did three records in the late 60s, total psychedelic outfit. Um, 
I don't know if I have any. Oh, it's buried over there. I'm not going to get it. Uh, I've got the Forever Changes album. And this is basically the Forever Changes album performed in concert. It's a double LP set, like I said earlier. There's all the tracks right there. So it's just Arthur Lee and a bunch of session people. Um, you know, on the inside here. So this is, I think, one of these, I don't know if it was a record store day thing, or if it was actually a Newbury Comics. I did keep the hype sticker in here. Yeah, it's a Newbury Comics special edition, limited edition uh, of 300 copies made. It was an exclusive. Wow, I feel exclusive. So I got this for 12 bucks. I mean, that's really great. Like I said, I, I, I don't buy a lot of new albums, but I was really happy to this. So I'm going to have myself a little psychedelic Sunday this afternoon and listen to that. Uh, I actually listened to all three of these yesterday when I got home. And they'll get a second spin today. Here's number two of what I picked up. Yeah, it's the great Doug Sa Doug Som, S A H M Doug Som. So uh, Sir Douglas, in fact, Sir Douglas Quintet, really great psych rock country ish, if you will. Look at the look of Doug Som right there on the cover. This is a concert they did live at the Troubadour in Los Angeles, not to be missed. This is a record store day special. I know that you can see there. Doug Weston's Troubadour, 1971. There we go, yeah, so. Eight live classics. Uh, the Kings of Tex-Mex, that's what they called this style of music because they were actually originally from Texas. And uh, yeah, for whatever reason, uh, it's pressed here as it says on 45 RPM vinyl. I listened to it yesterday. There's eight tracks on this. I can't tell the difference if it's 33 or not. Maybe someone in the comments, when you audiophile people, and let me know what's the significance why would you record a long play on 45 rpm right because it's clearly not an ep or a 12 inch single it's a full length so anyway like i said uh, eight tracks on this one kicks off with probably their biggest song they ever did that's called she's about a mover and, um, okay. yeah right here another classic on this one mendocino closes off side one and this was kindly sent to me by my friend jack at the vinyl martini he sent me some VCLT recently with that one. So yeah, my, my uh, Sir Douglas Quintet collection continues to grow. If I see any, I'll pick it up. It's rare you see it in the wild, but this is a good buy. And I got this for like, I think this was about 15 bucks and it's well worth every penny because I really like Sir Douglas. So yeah, really cool stuff right there. Then lastly, at the Newbury Comics stuff, uh, brand new record here. Well, not brand new, it was new in 2021. The great Neil Young and back with Crazy Horse here. So Gives it a more rock and sound. I mean, there's a couple of slow ballads on this one. Heading West is a good track. Um, Tumbling Through the Years is probably my favorite. I've only listened to the record through once. And again, I'll listen to this today again. And uh, yeah, uh, Human Race is another good one on here. Uh, they Might Be Lost. I mean, they were all those were standouts just on the first listen for me. So uh, anyway, I love Neil Young. I got a ton of it. And uh, just throw that on the pile of Neil Young stuff. So anyway... That's going to do it for a Sunday uh, for recent finds, right? So anyway, I hope you're having a good one wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next video.